Hello, my fellow season two perfection folks. I have here in my hands a not so midlife crisis checklist for people who want to do a side hustle on the side without breaking a hip. Between my Thai food loving ways and enjoying the scenic views, I have assembled a checklist for y'all so that you don't have to spend a lot of time figure out how to create that perfect side hustle so that you can edge towards retirement a lot earlier than you think is possible. But before we do, let's do a food check. Today we are looking at what is called Tao Man Gai, one of my favorites, and it is so good. It's so good because it is chicken with special sauce, a side of soup, and of course, a side of pepper sauce, all done just right. The rice that's made with this uh, dish is actually cooked with chicken so that the rice is flavorful as well, not just plain rice, but flavored rice. And the chicken comes either boiled and fr or fried or both. I prefer the boiled. It seems to be healthier, just as yummy though. If you ever get a chance, grab yourself a plate of Kawan Gai. You will not regret it. All right, let's get started. I have a checklist of the things that uh, I would do if I were to start embarking on my journey towards retirement and having a side hustle so that I'll have a side income and not have to rely solely on Social Security, if you know what I mean. I said would, but I actually did it. That's why I'm here. That's why I can accomplish my life goals a lot sooner then had I just continued to the end and look at my bank account and figure out that I would have to retire on. So let's get proactive about this, shall we? Let's look at the first item on this checklist. By the way, this checklist is available for you in written form. All you gotta do is DM me, but more about that towards the end. Let's start. First item on our not so midlife crisis checklist, self-assessment, or as I like to call it, navel gazing. And no, I'm not talking about that thing you do at the beach when you're wondering if you should have gone for one less scoop of ice cream. This is about digging deep and discovering those hidden talents. You know, the ones you brag about after a couple of drinks at family reunions. But seriously, it's time to take stock. What are you passionate about? What skills have you acquired? Just say several candles on your birthday cake. Maybe you're a whiz at knitting. Or perhaps you've got a voice that could make a cat sing opera. Whatever it is, jot it down. And while you're at it, think about how much time you can realistically dedicate it to your side hustle. Between those binge marathons and, let's face it, afternoon naps. Remember, this is about setting yourself up for success. And success starts with knowing yourself. So grab that magnifying glass. And let's get to some good old fashioned navel gazing. On to step two, market reconnaissance. Sounds fancy, right? Like we're about to embark on a James Bond mission, but instead of tuxedos and gadgets, we are with curiosity. Now, before you dive head first into this side hustle adventure, it's essential to scope out the lay of the land. What is the lay of the land? Well, that is what's hot and what's not. And no, I'm not talking about the latest dance craze or what color is a new black this season. Start by identifying gap in the market. Maybe there's a product everyone's clamoring for, but no one's offering. Or perhaps there's a service that's in high demand right now, but low supply. And if you're stumped, here's a pro tip. Eavesdrop at your next family gathering or a coffee shop visit. You'd be surprised at the business ideas you can pick up between discussions about Aunt Mabel's cats and the weather. Next, survey your friends, family, or even strangers about their need. But a word of caution, maybe don't start with, hey, want to buy something? Ease into it. Ask about your pain points, their wishes, their if only someone would create this ideas. Remember, the goal here isn't to reinvent the wheel, 
is to find out where the wheel might be needed most. So put on your detective hat, channel your inner Sherlock, and let's get to some marketing looting. Now, let's shoot me on over to step three, crafting your business model, or as I prefer, making the cha-ching, because let's face it, while passion is the fuel, a little cha-ching in the pocket doesn't hurt. So you've got this brilliant idea, right? Maybe it's as revolutionary as socks with built-in sandals or as simple as a better mousetrap. But how do you turn that idea into a cold, hard cash? First things first, decide on what you're offering. Is it a product, a service, a monthly subscription to your interpretive dance videos? Whatever it is, be clear about it. Next, let's talk money. How much are you going to charge? And before you pull a number out of a hat or base it on how much you spent on your last coffee, which, let's be honest, can be a small fortune these days, do some research. What's the going rate? Can you offer something extra that'll make folks happily throw their money at you? And while you're on the topic of money, let's not forget about profit margins, because while selling ice to polar bears might sound like a fun challenge, if it costs you more to get that ice than what you're selling it for, well, you're just setting up a chili charity. In essence, your business model is your game plan. It's how you score goals and make that sweet, sweet cha-ching sound. So grab a notepad, a calculator, maybe a fancy graph or two, and let's go get down to the business of, well, business. Onward to step four, the legal mumbo jumbo. I know, I know. Just hearing the word legal might make you want to take an unscheduled nap. But stick with me. This is the part where we ensure that your side hustle doesn't turn into a side hassle. First off, let's talk business structures. Now, I'm not suggesting you become the next multinational conglomerate, unless that's your thing, in which case, go you. But deciding whether you're a sole proprietor, an LLC, or some other fancy acronym is crucial. It's like deciding if you're a cat person, a dog person, or just really into goldfish. Next, and this is a biggie, open a separate business bank account. Mixing your personal and business finances is like mixing stripes with polka dots. It might seem fun at first, but it's bound to get messy. And speaking of money, let's chat taxes, shall we? I can feel the excitement already, I know, but seriously. Understanding your tax obligations can save you from a surprise visit from Mr. Da -da 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 -da, Mr. Taxman later. And trust me, he's not the kind of guest who brings cookies. In short, the legal mumbo jumbo is all about dotting your I's, crossing your T's, and making sure you're not accidentally setting up a lemonade stand in a no-sell zone. So buckle up, maybe grab a lawyer friend or two, and let's navigate these legal waters together. Just remember to bring a life jacket. All right, before we dive into step five, a quick heads up. If I sound like I've been serenading a pack of wolves or swallowed a kazoo, well, it's because I'm just getting over the flu. Yes, even in sunny Thailand, colds do happen. Now, onto branding and the interweb. First off, I know what some of you might be thinking. Hack stuff, websites, social media. Oh boy, this sounds complicated. But trust me, if I, a proud member the Over the Hill Club, can navigate this digital jungle, so can you. And the best part, I'm here to guide you every step of the way. Branding is just a fancy word for how you present your business. Think of it as picking out the perfect outfit for a special occasion. You want to look and feel your best, right? It's the same with your business. We'll find a name that resonates, something that just feels right. And as for the online stuff, don't fret. In the upcoming videos, I'll be your tech tour guide, showing you the ropes and making sure you're set up for success. It's like having training wheels for the digital world. And if I can do it, you definitely can. Now, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of these hand-holding sessions, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It's like reserving a front row seat to all our upcoming adventures together. Remember, this journey is all about taking things one step at a time, and with a little guidance and a sprinkle of humor, we'll have you riding the digital wave like a pro in no time. On to step six, marketing and shameless plugging. 
No. Before you start picturing yourself wearing a sandwich board and shouting for street corners, let's dial it back a bit. Marketing is simply the art of letting people know what you've got and why they might want it. Did think of it as telling a friend about a great movie you just saw. Except in this case, the movie is your fantastic side hustle and the friend is, well, anyone who will listen. Now, I get it. The word marketing might conjure up images of flashy billboards, pricey ads, and those annoying jingles that get stuck in your head. But here's the secret. It doesn't have to be complicated or expensive, especially not with the tools we have today. And if you're worried about the tech side of things, remember, I'm right here with you. If I can figure it out, and trust me, I've had my fair share of which button do I press moments, then you're in good hand. Now, onto the shameless plucking part. This is where you get to toot your own horn a bit. Got a new product? Toot. Offering special deal? Toot toot. It's about sharing what you're up to and inviting folks to join in on the fun. In the end, marketing is just about sharing your passion with others and with a little guidance, you'll be spreading the word about your side hustle like a seasoned pro in no time. All right, team. Let's roll up our sleeves and tackle step seven. Operational, what you call it. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But fear not, we're not building spaceship here. Just setting up the nuts and bolts of our side hustle. No, operations is just a fancy term for how to get things done. It's like when you're making a sandwich, you've got a system, right? Bread, mayo, lettuce, tomato, a slice of cheese, and maybe that leftover roast beef. That's your sandwich operation. In the world of side hustles, it's about figuring out the steps to deliver your product or service. Maybe it's packing and shipping, scheduling appointments, or just making sure you've got enough of those thickamajigs in stock. And I know the thought of setting up systems and processes might sound as thrilling as watching paint dry. But here's the kicker. Once you've got these watchamacalls in place, they do the heavy lifting for you. It's like having a little army of helpers making sure everything runs smoothly. Now, for those of you breaking out in cold sweats at the thought of texts and tools, take a deep breath. Remember, I'm navigating this digital maze right alongside you. And if I can make sense of these potential or operational doodads, and I'm someone who once tried to zoom in on a physical newspaper, then you're in safe hands. So let's dive into these operational thingies together, step by step. And hey, if you're enjoying this journey and want to ensure you don't miss out on any future escapades, hit that like button a nudge, subscribe, and ring-a-ding that notification bell. It's like sending a virtual high five. In the end, operations are just the behind the scenes magic that keeps your side hustle humming along. And with a sprinkle of patience and a dash of humor, we'll have your whatchamacallers working like a well-oiled machine. All right, on to step eight, never ending school days. Now, before you have flashbacks of chalkboards, pop quizzes, and that one teacher with his squeaky shoes, let me assure you, this isn't about going back to school. It's about embracing the joy of lifelong learning. You see, the world of side hustles is ever evolving. New tools pop up, trends change, and what was the in thing yesterday might be the old news tomorrow. It's like fashion. One minute bell bottoms are in, the next minute, not so much. And then, just when you've given it away, they're back. But here's a fun fact to sweeten the deal. Did you know that learning something new, like a language, can actually decrease your chances of getting dementia? Yep, our brains form these cool things called neural pathways when we learn. I recently stumbled upon a, an article about this. Now, I'm no scientist, but that study sounds pretty darn cool. It's like giving your brain a workout, flexing those mental muscles. Now, I get it. The idea of constantly learning might sound exhausting, but think of it as feeding your curiosity. Every new tidbit of knowledge is like adding a tool to your toolkit, making your side hustle stronger and more resilient. And for those who might be thinking, but I'm not tech savvy, or I've been out of school for decades, remember this, age is just a number. Your experience and wisdom are invaluable assets. Combine that with a sprinkle of new knowledge and you're unstoppable. So embrace those never ending school days, dive into learning with enthusiasm of a kid in a candy store because in this school of side hustles every lesson is a step closer to your dream all right folks 
Let's dive into step nine, feedback and the art of nodding. Now, I'm not talking about that nod you do when someone's talking to you and you have no idea what they're saying, but don't want to seem rude. No, this is about genuinely listening to feedback and using it to your advantage. You see, feedback is like getting directions when you're lost. Sure, you could keep driving in circles, hoping you'll eventually find your way, or you could pull over, ask someone, and get back on track. In the world of side hustles, feedback is your roadmap to success. Now here's the tricky part. Not all feedback is created equal. Some will be as useful as a chocolate teapot, while others will be pure gold. Your job, sift through, take what's valuable, and leave the rest. But how do you get feedback, you ask? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Ask your customers, your friends, or even that neighbor who seems to have an opinion on everything. And when they talk, really listen. This is where the art of nodding comes in. Nod takes notes and resists the urge to defend or explain. Just soak it all in. And remember, feedback isn't about criticism. It's about growth. It's like having a personal trainer for your business, pointing out where you can improve and cheering you on. So embrace feedback, master the art of nodding, and watch as your side hustle transforms before your eyes. Because this journey, every piece of advice, every comment, every nod is a stepping stone to greatness. And now the grand finale. Step 10, dreaming big, or at least medium. Because let's face it, while it's great to be realistic, it's the big dreams that add a sparkle of magic to our lives. Now, I'm not saying you should aim to be the next Elon Musk or Oprah, though if that's your jam, more power to you. But having a vision, a dream, a what if, for your side hustle can be the fuel that keeps you going, especially on those days when your computer crashes or your coffee spills. Remember when you were a kid, and you dreamt of becoming an astronaut, a rock star, or in my case, professional ice cream taster, still holding out hope in that one. Those dreams made the world feel limitless, full of possibilities. And guess what? It still is. Your side hustle might start as a small spark, a tiny idea scribbled on a napkin. But with passion, hard work, and a sprinkle of dreaming, it can grow into a roaring fire. Maybe you want to expand, hire a team or even take a vacation without checking your emails every five minutes. Whatever your dream, embrace it. And if you're thinking, but I'm over 50, isn't it too late to dream big? To that, I say, age is just a number. Some of the best wines are age. And so are we. With our experience, wisdom, and a dash of daring, we can dream as big or medium as we want. So, as we wrap up this series, remember that your side hustle journey is uniquely yours. Dream big, aim high, and even shoot for the stars and land on the moon. You're still in space, and that's pretty darn cool. And hey, if you've enjoyed this journey with me and want more adventures, tips, and maybe a few more ice cream references, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It's like giving me a virtual thumbs up for our shared journey. Now, because I believe in the power of community and helping each other out, especially from one senior to another, I put together a handy dandy checklist based on everything we've covered. It's my gift to you. If you want a copy, just shoot me a DM and I'll make sure it lands in your inbox. All right, so that's the checklist, guys. Not too long of a video this time, but I had a flu for three days now, so... I apologize, but I hope that this has been helpful for you. Go ahead and DM me and get this checklist. Write things down so that you accomplish the things on your checklist. And until next time, I hope you have a good one and you are working towards your goals so that you can make this side hustle the real deal. Until then, see ya.